I'm Riley Dias, activist, author, and Read Across America ambassador. Are you ready to read, write, and get things done? Let's start with a book. Who made this book? This book, Someone Builds a Dream, was written by Lisa Wheeler and illustrated by Lauren Long. It was published by Dial Books for Young Readers. But who actually made it? How did this book go from being just an idea the author had to something that you can hold in your hands? How did these words and pictures get onto pages? Do you ever wonder about how something gets made? Someone Builds a Dream shows you the work that happens by all kinds of different people to turn an idea into a finished product. The bold illustrations of this book will help you see all the details that have to be taken care of when someone is building the dream, whether that dream is a house or a roller coaster or a book. This book made me wonder about all the people who build the things I use every day, from hair products to makeup to phones to dog treats for my dog. Think about something you use every day. What do you wonder about how it was made and who was involved in making it? How are you connected to the people who helped make or build it? What do you notice around you that inspires your own dreams of making something? Your ideas about things you dream of, building and creating is something great for you to write in a diary or a journal. Or maybe the rhyming verse of Somebody Builds a Dream will inspire you to write your own poem. Or maybe the illustrations will get you excited about all the drawings of things you want to build. Or maybe you'll want to write a letter to a company and ask about how something was made and who was involved in making it. Writing for yourself does not have to be fancy or formal or hard. Give it a try. This book will really help you see that building something begins and ends with people. The shoes you're wearing, the chair you're sitting on, or the device you're watching this video on are all things that someone thought of, someone designed, someone got the materials for, someone built, and someone got to you. And every one of those people was important in making it happen. Like this says in the book, it takes a team to build a dream. As you learn more about how much each person does in their part that matters and contributes to the world, what can you do to show all those people kindness and respect for the ideas they have and the work they do? Did this book spark a new interest and make you wonder about something else? I bet you all have great ideas. Put them into action. I hope you will pick up this Read Across America recommended book and are inspired to read, write, and get things done.